Now that the cut is finished, it may be necessary to remove the burrs left behind on your cut. Burrs are the little metal shavings that turn up on the inside wall of your tubing at the cut point. These shavings must be completely removed or they'll compromise the seal and integrity of the entire HVAC and R system. You'll notice far fewer burrs if you use a sharp cutting wheel. This is one of the most popular styles of tube deburring tools. The blade for removing burrs is very sharp, so pay close attention to how you operate this tool to prevent personal injury. Like cutting, it's very important that your deburring tool has a sharp blade. This particular model comes with blades inside the handle. Point the end of the tubing slightly downward. This allows gravity to work in your favor, encouraging the burrs to fall out and away from the tube. If the burrs fall inside the tubing as you remove them, you must take a moment and clear them out before continuing on. While holding the grip firmly, insert the deburring blade into your tube and apply a small amount of pressure between the blade and interior wall. While applying this pressure, rotate the blade around the interior wall of the tube, shaving the burrs off as you go. Remember, the blade is very sharp. Work carefully and keep your fingers away from the blade. Pay attention to whether or not the burr peelings are curling inward or outward as you use your tool. Try to peel them outward so the burrs easily fall out and away from the tube. Notice the burrs will peel up and away from the path of the blade and easily drop out of the tube. Using your deburring tool in this manner makes it far less likely you'll need to retrieve the burrs that fall inside your tubing. Deburring should be a fairly straightforward procedure. If the tube was properly cut to begin with, the burrs should easily shave off and fall away. In the best case scenario, the burrs will require only one pass to remove them, which means less time to complete the job and less chance of an injury. If the original cut was executed poorly, you may find the burrs require far more pressure to remove. Not only does this increase your chance of injury, but it will most likely result in a thin tube wall, which may cause cracking during the flare or swaging procedure. Another popular tool for removing burrs is a tube reamer and burr remover tool. This particular tool removes inner and outer burrs from the cut, and it too requires little force if the original cut was executed properly. Simply place the tool over your cut, again holding the tube at a downward slant, and rotate the entire tool clockwise until the burrs have been completely removed. The premium tube cutter previously demonstrated is equipped with a deburring blade. This particular blade requires a pairing method of shaving the burrs and more force. The blade is very sharp, so use caution when performing this procedure.